some breaking news on the vaccine front from the National Institutes of Health. Meg Terrell here with those details. Meg? Hi, Kelly. We're getting the first glimpse of highly anticipated results from a trial the NIH sponsored, looking at what happens if you get a different brand of vaccine booster than you got for your primary series. And what this initial look, which has just been posted on a preprint server and has not yet been peer reviewed, um, suggests is that if you got the J&J vaccine, you're going to be served best by getting a booster of one of the mRNA vaccines. Um, otherwise, there was a slight uh, showing perhaps that the Moderna vaccine over Overall, um, was the best booster. If you got Moderna first, you'd want that as a boost. Uh, but it was hard to tell between Moderna and Pfizer as those were pretty close. But pretty significant difference there if you got J&J &J, uh, between getting a J&J &J booster or getting one of the mRNA vaccines. This is so important as a commercial question for these companies because after this initial phase of vaccinations, they're going to be competing commercially for who will be the booster of choice. So Moderna has been up there because Axios reported this on a sourced basis uh, a little while ago. So it's been up kind of all day on this. Um, interestingly, you can also see companies like Novavax, which doesn't even have an authorized vaccine yet, rising a little bit on this news, uh, perhaps because it opens up to mixing and matching boosters. Kelly? Interesting. Meg, thank you. Our Meg Terrell.